Hello everyone, it's Jen and welcome back to my craft table. I am so excited about today's video. I have put together three quick little spring crafts. It is time to get those rolling out. So I thought I would share this with you. And without further ado, let's hop right in and get going. Okay, the first project that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some HTV. This is such a beautiful pattern and it just screams spring and outdoor tea parties. I, I don't know. I just I love it. It's just so, it's just so gorgeous. I have quite a few of these wood trays and it's the wood pile brand from Hobby Lobby. And I have different sizes of these because I do a lot of wood burning, but I thought it would be fun this time to put this HTV down here for a nice spring look. So the first thing about HTV is the shiny side is actually the, the liner. Okay, so that's what's going to get uh, peeled up. This side here is the rough side, and this is actually the vinyl itself. So I'll be putting this, I don't, I just cut it to size, and this is, you know, I'm not going to do any kind of design or cutouts or anything. I literally just measured the inside dimensions for the width and the length, and then I placed it in here to make sure that it would fit, and then I had to do a little bit extra trimming. And I just used my 12 by 12 paper cutter. So it was nice and easy. If you did not know, the, the um, vinyl sheets will absolutely cut very nicely um, with a paper cutter. So, and I'm talking about the guillotine arm ones, like, you know, from school. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my Cricut Easy Press mat and place that down. I'm going to put the wood on here and I'm just going to place the HTV on the inside. All right. Now I'm going to be using the, the Cricut Easy Press Mini and this has been heating on medium. It is green now so it is ready to go and it just sits in its little cradle. It's so cute. Like it's like this tiny little baby iron. And but what I like about it, because I have an iron and I was using it for like regular vinyl projects before I got it. Um, but what I like about it is because of the the even heating plate. Um, and the way it's designed, I know that the heating is going to be exactly what it needs to be. Okay, so something I'm going to do is I'm going to place some parchment paper in here just to protect not, not only my um, final, but also my easy mini press. And it says in the directions that I looked up in the heat guide to use firm pressure constant movement for 40 seconds. So I've got my timer and I'm going to go ahead and the cool super cool thing is the way this is the way this is angled is I can get right in that corner. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work like in quadrants. So if you were to cut this into fours and that way I know, even if the, I overlap a little bit. Okay, so that's one corner. I'll turn this around. How many of you, let's take a poll. How many of you would prefer to work with regular vinyl or HTV or basically iron-on vinyl? So you just tell me down in the comments, what is your favorite to work with? I like both, but I think I really like HTV a whole lot better, um, mostly because I find it easier to read. And I love it that it's so versatile. Like I 
seriously put it on everything. It's not just for t-shirts. I can put it on bags. I can put it on wood. Um, I love putting it on wood. In fact, I make earrings with wood and HTV. So it's just fun. I got one more corner and then I'll probably do just an overall. I'm thinking that this tray, which I kind of had envisioned to be part of my home decor. I don't know. This might have to be like here on my craft table to hold my current project supplies while I'm like working on a project. Because I used that parchment paper. I didn't want to like go crazy. I'm just going to very carefully go around. That looks so pretty. I just love it. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do a couple of these. Great. Oh, this would be great, like going to a uh, like a Sunday brunch or um, on your entry table. Is this somewhere pretty nice for spring? This is great. Okay, give that a try, guys. That's fun. Okay, so the next project, I'm excited about this one, and I really hope this comes out the way I have it envisioned in my mind. I covered it with white paint but um it i just don't think it's going to look well without being covered so i'm actually going to go ahead and i'm going to cover this with its own hexagon in white vinyl i measured the side i measured the width so from pointy side to pointy side, measured that, and then the flat top to the flat bottom, so I measured all of that. In design space, I just chose a hexagon and resized it, and I'm just placing that over the B design. I'm not real worried about this, that you can see this, because I'm going to be putting this cute little bunny there. I'm so excited about this little bunny. So I got this bunny off of um, Creative Formica. And now I've got to figure out which part. Well, let me pull up a corner. Maybe we'll just, oh. So this is something that I did. This little notch right here is my reminder that this is the top and that's the top right. So the bunny, like the bottom of the bunny feet are right here. So sometimes when I'm not sure um, and I kind of figure out how it's orientated, then I will kind of notch it a little bit. But I love this. Um, vinyl. It's so spring and colorful. I actually picked this up at Hobby Lobby one day and then it's got cute little flowers here inside. So this is fun. So check it out, it, like the flowers of the pattern and the flowers of the of the cutout design actually go together. So this is cute little bunny and we're going to have it sit right here. And then these words say, hello spring. I just thought that would be so cute. And so I'm going to pull this up. This is a really delicate design today. Oh, that weeded so perfect. 
That's great. So something I've started doing, especially for my intricate designs, is once they cut out, I get my scraper tool. Um, sometimes I get my brayer, but mostly I get my scraper tool and I just kind of go over it and burnish it down. So kind of like putting everything back in place. Basically, we have upset that vinyl and we need to get it to lay back down. All right, so that's gorgeous. Oh gosh, this is going to be so pretty. So it's going to look like this. Ooh, how exciting. Okay, so let's grab some transfer tape. Actually, I don't think I need a lot of transfer tape. This transfer tape is clear, so I can actually see through it. And I'm just basically lining up his feet at the bottom, or her feet, I guess. I'm not sure. And we'll, we'll just cut that out. And then I'll use the same piece of transfer tape for the words. I won't need to cut that out twice. Pull that up. This, y'all, this is like butter. This is awesome. So I'm going to line up that bottom grid with the bottom of the bunny feet. And we're going to burnish really good on the front. So this is a sample of some transfer tape. That I've never used before. It's from Expressions Vinyl and I really like it. It's nice and thick. It's sticky, but it's, I mean, it's very different than the Cricut transfer tape. So far, I like it. Maybe we'll have to buy some more. Okay, pulling up. And I just found three little spots that need to come off. So hold these. There's one. And two. So the pattern vinyl that I'm using, it's actually a little hard for me to see. There we go. So until I pick up the carrier sheet, it would be kind of hard for me to see all the little things. But, oh, look at these. These are like little flowers. Maybe we'll add those. Okay, I think I got everything. And then these are just like little flower accents that we can add on if we think it's a good idea. What I like about pattern vinyl is that it is really forgiving. So that will go there. Oh, this is so cute. It makes me want to make another one. All right. So we'll move this out of the way. Pull this up. Wonderful. That looks great. Okay. So the Hello Spring, I'm going to use the same transfer tape. And I'm going to use the grid line actually I'm going to use the grid line I'm going to put it under the hello because the spring is kind of a, a different kind of font and then 
and we're gonna burnish the fat. Oh, there's the easy press. I like it because it turns itself off if you forget about it. Okay, so this is going to go right up here. Oh, that looks good. This is a cute little... So the bunny I got from the Creative Home uh, Fabrica and then the Hello Spring is from Cricut Design Space. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so now the question is, what do we think? Do we want some of these little, these little stickers? Well, there's these little weeded out pieces. Okay, what does that are? You know, you could just have like one there. There's only three, so groups of three. And Depending on how closely you look at it, you could see them as butterflies or flowers. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. Oh, we do have one more little flower here, but I think three is plenty. I, I don't want to ruin a good thing. And as always, save your transfer tape and you can totally use it as long as it is still sticky. All right, so that is two spring crafts down and one more to go. Okay, so this third and last craft is, um, it actually is another sign from the Dollar Tree. And I, it was black, so I just gave it a quick um, couple of coats of white paint. And then I just kind of distressed it a little bit with a sanding block. And it looks really rustic. It is definitely not a perfect paint job, which is totally okay. Um, and then I have here, well, I have some little fabric pieces that we're going to use for like a little ribbon. But then here I have some black, you know, regular vinyl. And this one, I got Let's see, where did I get this one from? I think I got this one off of Creative too. Okay, so I actually finished this off camera. That was, this weeding was a little bit of a labor of love, but that's okay. And um, I didn't need to check in design space because I thought maybe I had pulled off too much, but this is where his feet go in, that'd be his little tummy, and then his other feet are there. So we're all good to go. And I need to get some transfer tape. And I actually just want to do this all at one time. So I... I'm going to go ahead, normally I would just reuse those little small pieces, but it is okay. Where's my big scissors? My big scissors are here. And I'm going to, because my little hexagon is a weird shape, I am going to cut my transfer tape in a weird shape. Y'all, I just can't get over that. That is so cute. It's just staring at me, making me happy. Okay, well, let's make this one make me happy. So when I have a bigger piece, I just peel back a little bit of the carrier sheet, and then I slowly remove the rest of it. 
That way I am not, it just lays down nicer and I'm not dealing with sticky sticking to itself. I'm going to burnish the front and the back. Welcome to our patch. And then really, wow, I could have made that definitely a little bigger, but that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to eyeball it. I could use parchment paper, but I think that's okay. You know, it's farmhousey. The words are kind of kind of all over anyway. Okay, get the little bunny down. So cute. And it doesn't bother me, but you could come in and slice these little spots where the where it goes over that um, little break in the wood. Personally. It does not bother me one bit. Oh, that little piece doesn't want to stay in it. There we go. Okay, so the final part is I thought we could make like a little ribbon up here. And I'm going to need... Well, I'm going to need this to iron this out. So here I just have, if you don't have the ribbon that you would like, and these are kind of sparkly, you really can't see, but you can make your own little bow with some fabric scraps. So I'm going to iron these out really fast. And I think I need to trim this one a little bit. I'm going to move that out of the way. Grab my glue gun. So these big ones here are, just so you know, these are 10 inches. And I am going to get a little hot glue. And we're going to press this together. We're going to make a loop. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. A little bit of hot glue. And then we will press this together. This is a, it is a cordless glue gun. I just picked it up at Hobby Lobby and giving it a try. And it was, you know, not some major name brand or anything I just happened to see it and I'm giving it a try and it's working really good guys I'm pretty impressed with it these are our loops those will become the, the bow part and then this is going to become the center of it that will wrap around our bow like that so I'm just gonna go along here that was maybe a little too much glue. That'll be all right. And I'm going to fold this in thirds. Give that a little press. Okay, so we have a little tube. And this tube, I always make this tube a little longer than I need. And... I just cut off whatever is not needed. All right, so I'll bring this guy in here. Add some glue there. Okay, so I'm going to pinch these together like this, and then this guy will go around and like that. 
Okay, so I think I actually don't need, probably don't need all of this. Well, let's get this on here and then I will, then I'll cut it. Okay, so we're going to lay them on top of each other, pinch them together, and then I'll put a little glue there. This one started. It's like a little harebell. This is a good little um, way to use up fabric scraps if you don't have wired ribbon on hand. And, um, or sometimes you can't find the right kind of wired ribbon that you really want. I'm thinking this looks pretty even. New stick. A little hard. Okay, and then I think we'll put it on this side. Okay, so that is craft number three. These are the three spring crafts that we did today. So we made a tray with HTV vinyl just laid down and, um, you know, activated with our heat using our Cricut Easy Press. We have a sweet, darling little Hello Spring um, vinyl sign with a little beautiful patterned vinyl bunny. And then we have a wood and painted sign with our uh, piece of vinyl, welcome to our patch, and a little fabric bow made out of the scrap fabric that we had laying around. So I hope that I've inspired you to be able to make some cute, easy, fun, and super simple spring crafts for your home. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and in the meantime, happy crafting. Until next time. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day, and as always, happy crafting.